Hello once again and welcome back to the Scalping Pro FX channel. Today uh, we'll be looking at uh, market structures, demand and supply, and then resistance and support. As a newbie trader, these are the building blocks that should form your initial education for forex trading. But before we get into that, uh, I want us to do a quick optimization of our charts because you realize that most fx traders beginners especially don't have a good idea of how to optimize your charts to give you the advantage on the market ideally when you open your metal trader for the first time you find that um, this is the default screen and that is not to say metal trader is the only setup or trading platform to use when you come to trading there are several ones there's ninja trader there's c trader uh, but i prefer to use meta trader because um uh, since my my trading days i started uh with it straight away until i'm able to relate very well with it anyway so let's quickly get into optimizing knowing how to optimize your charts to give you a fair and a far a clearer view of what the market is doing i mean at the first glance you realize that everything looks like there's a, it's all chaos but once you optimize your charts and then we get into the main lecture for today we will get some clarity all right uh, so the first thing will be to go to my properties and then try and then change the color setup to make it friendlier should I say so my background I'll try and then see if I can uh, go into white background Let's see okay so that you see the foreground is black so I mean as you can see in the preview I'll maintain the grid lines as a same color bar up or bullish candle I will prefer Let's see I prefer red most people prefer green most people prefer blue I mean it's your preference okay as you're the trader and it's your chart it should be something you resonate with it's something that you relate to so there's no standard of standard color or whatever do what makes you comfortable so I go with red right and then um, bar down Today I'll, I'll, I'll take a blue Bull candle which is also the same as the bar up this they are in consonance anyway, so Same red And then um blue. So as you can see from the preview our chart is looking more friendly as look it's it's getting clearer um Line graph I'm going to leave that I will not touch okay the ask ask line will, will remain same this is what I have them then uh, let's go here come on uh, show the ask line because you want to see the duality of pricing I mean as you know market prices market prices dual is was bid and ask so and then I would like to show period separators but then the grid lines I would like to take them off it's a, it's a personal pre uh, preference anyway if you want to keep yours on that's fine go ahead but I prefer my chart without the grid lines okay beyond that let's see so there it is so as you can see now let me just increase size now as this, these are OHCL candles OHCL simply means open high close and then low we will do a, a separate video on explaining what these type of these this type of impressions mean this OECL and the can, Jap Japanese candlesticks but I, I prefer Japanese candlesticks so I, I would like to change to this and obviously this looks far better from the previous chat um, what else okay so you see uh, as you as you can see there are three of them there are line graphs this is what a line graph looks like i i don't prefer this doesn't give me any meaning i mean there are traders that prefer this 
there's nothing wrong with it it's your preference again but for me this is what i resonate this is what i am okay with so now that i have this it's on the 15 minutes and it runs through because i made sure if you look here and see it runs through it runs through for every time frame so um <clears throat> all right see but then again most traders will complain i always change my charts and then when i close and then come back it's gone uh, i think you have to learn to save it as a template that also helps so for me i come to you come to template save template and so how do you name your template i will name my template and as you can see i have all that i have, I have templates i've created in the past so i'm going to name this uh Scalping Pro and save. So tomorrow, if I open a new chart and it's green, I just come to templates and then I look for Scalping Pro. And once you click it, this set the settings flow through. You don't have to go through it over and over again. Okay, everything is looking on the up and up. Uh, okay. This looks good for now. We'll keep the grid lines, even though they look a bit of they look like a bit of a distraction. But uh, they have their use anyway. They are they are they are period intervals. So I th so for the one day, you can see this the period interval is one month. For the four hour, it's a week. This is the overview week on week. I mean, it gives you a very good overview, yes. Um, moving, moving on, uh, we look at... This is great. Excellent. Now that we've saved our template. Don't keep this here. Okay. So... Uh, yeah, that should be. I think this is a, a very a fairly good step on your trading journey. I mean, now that we finish, this should this should go a long way to helping you set up and optimize your charts. Thank you for your time.